In this video, I want to show you how to calculate the cell potential when the concentrations of the reactants and products are something other than one molar, the so-called standard condition. In this particular cell, the concentration of the silver ion, the reactant, starts out as 9.28 times 10 to the minus fourth, very, very small. And the chromium ion, the product, starts off just about at one molar. Because the product concentration is so much larger than the reactant concentration, we could anticipate that the reaction would proceed in the reverse direction to attain equilibrium, therefore reducing the cell potential from its standard value. The first thing we need to do is calculate the standard cell potential value. Once we do that, we could substitute that value along with some other values into something called the Nernst equation shown here. As a reminder, Q is the ratio of product of a reactant at non-standard conditions. With the Nernst equation in mind, we're going to calculate E cell at standard conditions. To do that, we're going to use the values in the table of standard reduction potentials. The values we're going to use is the reduction of silver to silver solid and chromium to chromium solid, shown here. We're going to then substitute these potential values into this equation to calculate E cell. E cell turns out to be a positive number, which is indicative of a highly spontaneous reaction. In other words, a reaction that will proceed in the forward direction. And the value of 1.539 gets substituted into the Nernst equation. The other value we're going to need for the Nernst equation is n, the number of electrons transferred in the reaction. Looking at the two half reactions, we see that we need to multiply the half reaction for silver by 3 to balance out the electron transfer. So the moles of electrons transferred in the reaction, or n, is 3. Then finally, we're going to substitute the concentration values into the Nernst equation where the Q was 1.04 for the chromium product value in the numerator and the 9.28 times 10 to the minus fourth in the denominator. From these values, we calculate a cell potential of 1.36 volts, slightly lower than the standard cell potential. And this is something we anticipated early on because the concentration of the product was much larger than the concentration of the reactant therefore pushing the equilibrium in the reverse direction, therefore making the reaction less spontaneous. Here we're asked to calculate the cell potential value when the silver concentration, the reactant in this case, is 1.38 molar, and the magnesium concentration, the product, is much smaller, 8.02 times 10 to the minus fourth. We would anticipate the cell potential to be greater than the standard cell potential because the concentrations are not one and the concentration of the reactant is much greater than the concentration of the product, anticipating that the equilibrium would be pushed in the forward direction, therefore producing a reaction more spontaneous than standard conditions. And we would expect E cell, we would expect E cell under these non-standard conditions to be greater than E cell at standard conditions. So let's first calculate E cell at standard conditions. Using the values from a table of standard reduction potentials, we calculate 3.169 volts for E standard. We're going to anticipate that our answer, after we substitute values into the Nernst equation, that our E cell non-standard is going to be greater than 3.169. Also, the moles of electrons transferred in the reaction is 2. Then we substitute the values into the Nernst equation and come up with an E cell of 3.27. And as we predicted, this E cell under non-standard conditions is greater than the standard E cell at standard conditions. Remember, standard conditions is when the molarities are both 1. In this problem, we're asked to determine the concentration of a product, chromium ion, under non-standard conditions. To do this problem, we must be given the E cell at non-standard conditions, and it's given to us at 1.600 volts. 
we're going to use the Nernst equation to solve for the chromium ion concentration. We proceed as we did before, determine the E cell standard and the number of electrons transferred in the reaction. The moles of electron transferred in the reaction is 3, and an E cell under standard conditions is 1.539 volts. Now comparing E cell under standard conditions, 1.539, to E cell at non-standard conditions, the 1.6, can we make any predictions about the value of chromium ion compared to the value of silver? Under the non-standard conditions, the reaction became more spontaneous than at standard conditions. Therefore, we can anticipate that the chromium ion concentration would be less than the reactant concentration because if the reactant concentration is greater than the product concentration we would anticipate the equilibrium to be shifted in the forward direction causing a more spontaneous reaction. What I've done is I rearranged the Nernst equation to solve for the natural log of Q. Once I rearranged it symbolically then I substitute the numbers for n and the voltages. I solve for the natural log of Q as negative 7.121. Remember Q is the ratio of product over reactants. Going a step further with the algebra, I take the inverse natural log and I get Q to be 8.08 .08 times 10 to the minus 4. And Q is the ratio of the product over the reactants, which is the chromium ion over the silver ion cubed. We know the concentration of the silver ion is 1.04. After substituting that value and then solving for the chromium ion, the chromium ion concentration is very small. As we anticipated, it would be smaller than the silver ion concentration.